Hi, I'm Nolene Brown and I was appointed as Australia's first ambassador for ageing. My role was established by the Australian Government to help cultivate a growing older population that's healthy and active. I do this by promoting healthy and active ageing messages to the community. Growing older is not something to worry about. It can be a wonderful time in our lives, but we must look after our health and we need to stay connected to life. I'm pleased to be part of this program, which provides valuable information on falls prevention and bone health. Staying physically active is the single most important thing we can do to stay fit and independent. Did you know that as we age, our bones lose minerals and can become weak and brittle, causing the condition known as osteoporosis? Stay active and on your feet by keeping your muscles and bones in good condition. The best way to enhance bone health and prevent fractures due to osteoporosis is a combination of exercise, good nutrition and, when required, medication. Three things you can do. Regular exercise. Ensure you include calcium in your diet and boost your vitamin D levels. Let's talk about exercise. As we grow older, we lose muscle strength and balance and this can lead to a fall. The more active we remain, the better the chance of keeping our muscles strong, our joints mobile and maintain our balance. Activities such as this promote muscle strength, balance and coordination and help to prevent falls. There are other benefits as well. Exercise helps to keep your heart strong, your blood pressure down, maintain a healthy weight and active enough to do the things you want to do, whether that be getting up out of the chair easily or playing with your grandchildren or working in the garden. If you're in any doubt about doing exercise, please talk to your doctor. What about calcium? Did you know calcium is only stored in your bones, but it's essential for many other different parts of the body, such as muscles and nerves. If you don't eat enough calcium, it'll be taken from your bones to other parts of the body where it's needed. As we get older, we absorb less and less calcium from our food. This means we actually need to eat more calcium and may need to take calcium supplements. Foods such as milk, yoghurt, cheese, salmon, figs and almonds are all good sources of calcium. And what about vitamin D? Did you know vitamin D is very important for strong bones? Being low in vitamin D can affect your muscle strength and decrease the absorption of calcium into your bones. The stronger your muscles and bones, the less likely you are to fall. There's limited vitamin D in food, so most people get vitamin D from sunlight. Sunlight acts on the skin and enables it to produce vitamin D. So how much sun do we require? It's best to be in the sun outside the peak UV period, which is before 10 a.m. and after 3 p.m. In summer, that'd be for a few minutes a day on most days, and in winter, up to two to three hours over a week. If you're in the Northern Territory, a few minutes a day on most days is adequate. If you're unsure about your calcium and vitamin D levels, do talk to your doctor at your next visit. Some people may require calcium and or vitamin D supplements. Are you doing all you can to remain active and healthy and on your feet? For further information, you can go to the New South Wales Ministry of Health website. You can find a falls prevention exercise program in your local community. This website also has very useful information about staying active and on your feet. In this booklet, you'll find information about exercises you can do at home, how to get up off the floor if you have had a fall, and home and lifestyle safety checklists. Look after your bones and stay active and on your feet.